Welcome back. News just in. The British government has lost the withdrawal vote by 230 votes, with 432 MPs voting against and 202 in favour. Joining us in the studio is our news editor, Jonathan Sacramento. Jonathan, thanks for joining us. Thank what you. does all this mean? Well, it means the government has suffered, a, as expected, a huge and embarrassing defeat. And this is, of course, the biggest defeat by a, by a British government in Parliament's in a century. So uh, this means that everyone will be posturing and taking stock. Theresa May has just said in Parliament that uh, she will not resign, uh, it, despite the calls for her to do so, and that over the next few days uh, a plan needs to be developed as, uh, as to where we take things. We've heard from Jeremy Corbyn saying that this means that there should be a, a general election. It's been a really long day for MPs in the House of Commons. Over 100 of them have made their voices known in a seven-hour debate leading up to the vote. Let's just take a, a very quick look now at what uh, Jeremy Corbyn and Theresa May had to say just before the votes took place. Labour believes that a general election would be the best outcome for the country. If this deal... I hope that tonight this House votes down this deal. And then we move to a general election. A vote against this deal is a vote for nothing more than uncertainty, division and the very, and the very real risk of no deal or no Brexit at all. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that way. Tonight we can choose certainty over uncertainty. We can choose unity over division. We can choose, we can choose, we can choose to deliver on our promise to the British people, not break that promise and endanger trust in politics for a generation. And we're hearing that Corbyn has just tabled a vote of no confidence. Jonathan, a lot going on. What happens next? Well, the vote of no confidence, uh, well, a motion of no confidence, uh, means that a vote now needs to take place on that issue if it has enough support. And that could possibly uh, lead to further... So that needs to be resolved now before anything else can take place. If the vote of no confidence, if the motion of no confidence is defeated, then there are, there are several other potential outcomes. One of them is to leave the EU without a deal. The vast majority of people don't want that, including the MPs in Parliament. The other option is to attempt to renegotiate with the EU. The EU has said that that's not going to happen. <laughs> Theresa May has said that that's not going to happen. But it may be possible that opinions change now as a result of the rather large uh, defeats in Commons. Things could change. And uh, another possibility is that the UK asks for an extension to the Article 50 process. Or there are two other options, one of which is that the government calls a general election. And another one is that it calls a second referendum, both of which have been ruled out by Theresa May. So it's anybody's guess. Well, plenty of developments to come in the coming weeks and months, I'm sure.